Hello, today we are going to mention how to use Adder Boost with Python. I suppose that you have already cloned Chef Boost framework. I will create a Python notebook in the same level of the framework and name it Adder Boost. I'm going to work on the addaboost.txt dataset under dataset folder. Let's read this dataset with pandas. Import pandas spd and pandas.read csv here location of the dataset. This will be stored in the pandas data frame. You can see the read data set here, data frame dot head. I seen there are plus one and minus one classes. In other words, true and false classes in two dimensional space. And I would like to build a classifier for this data set with addaboost. I separate true and false classes in different data frames. Uh, find positive ones, data frames, decision columns is greater than or equal to zero. And find negative ones similarly. We should plot the data set here. That's why I'm going to import matplotlib.payplot splt and scatter uh, positive ones. Here I pass x1 values as first argument and x2 values as second argument. As a marker, uh, plus uh, the, the marker for positive ones, size will be 500 as default, and color would be blue for positive ones. Similarly, I will plot negative ones, and as a marker, I'm going to specify a minus marker and red color. I can apply show command, but before it, I should uh, define x and y label. x label is x1, whereas y label is x2. This is my dataset, as in there are true and false classes. Now I can build an Adaboost classifier. That's why I'm going to import chef boost framework first. And here I'm going to call uh, chef boost.fit command and pass data frame as first argument. And my config file is my second uh, argument. You might not remember the config file for add boost algorithm. At this point, a uh, repository will guide you, and this is the config for your uh, classifier. And uh, also, you should store this learning step in a custom variable. Decision rules uh, were created under a outputs slash rules folder, and there are four different decision rules and also alpha values. Let's look at the first one. Uh, in this decision rule, uh, it checks x1 value is greater than 2.1 and if this condition is satisfied, uh, it would be false, otherwise it would be true. Actually, I don't have to know these decision rules and I can apply a prediction directly. Chef boost dot predict and pass your build model and your custom test instance 
for example check it for first one it's really true and I can also check it for this one yes it's classified as false the question is that how these predictions uh, are made remember that there are four different classifiers and also decision rules I'm going to write a for loop for i in range from 0 to 4 find alpha value for this round we can't do it easily here I'm going to import from commons import functions and common functions is located here and uh, I'm going to call uh, restore tree function on the functions and uh, I would like to uh, restore this value output slash rules slash alphas this is my uh, alpha module and when I restore it I can call alphas dot find alpha and uh, pass round number and my round number is I this is my uh, alpha value for the custom round I think there are four different uh, alpha values here and I can get them to make a prediction I also need custom decisions for that round and uh, custom decisions are stored in outputs slash rules uh, and uh, rules.py files uh, to make it understandable check every value in a final field I mean that for this custom round I'm going to restore a tree again but this time I'm going to uh, reference output slash rules slash rules dash round number and I is my round number here and when I uh, restore this uh, module let's look at the function name find decision I can call three dot find decision but uh, before that I'm going to check all uh, possible values for a final field again for x1 uh, in numpy range from 0 to 8 and step size should be for example 0 0.8 but this requires to import numpy and uh, in this for loop there uh, will be a second for loop and here I'm going to check a uh, possible x2 values similarly let's say step size is equal to 1 for x2 and I'm going to use 3 dot find decision function here and pass uh, x1 and x2 values here and this is going to be my decision here I can plot a scatter x1 value and x2 values are located in x and y coordinates and marker will be square that's why I set this as size should be 500 again and I'm going to make it transparent that's why uh, set alpha value as 0.1 and finally 
color color is important metric because it's going to be blue if decision is equal to one otherwise it's going to be red uh, after these four loops i can call show command pnt.show Uh, by the way, I should write class value. This is my first classifier, and uh, I'm going to apply this classifier for a new instance and multiply it with uh, 0 0.42. And my second classifier is that, and multiply it this, this, with uh, this alpha value. Similarly, this is my third. Uh, classifier and this is the related alpha value and alpha value times uh, this classifier will be applied for instances by the way I should write this times this summarizes how Adboost makes a decision and I can also show my uh, core data set here Copy this block and in the for loop I'm going to plot my data set values. It's seen uh, some values are classified correctly and some values are not. Instances having red background uh, will be classified as false whereas instances having blue background uh, will be classified as true for example uh, this instance classified correctly but this instance is not for the uh, fourth classifier these four classifiers come together and create add a boost i mean that uh, I'm going to check or x1 and x2 values again. Here I'm going to check uh, for this custom x1 and x2 values for these four classifiers. Its final decision uh, is set to uh, zero, its initial value. And here I'm going to create a for loop from 0 to 4 this is the number of my classifiers now I'm going to find alpha and uh, decision value for this custom round for the this custom x1 and x2 let's copy it from here I copied alphas and three uh, dot restore three value and uh, decision uh, for this round uh, is going to be this. Uh, append uh, alpha times uh, decision to final decision now I can plot let's copy from the previous block and after this for loop uh, for this x1 and x2 value again marker is square it's same size is 500 alpha value is 0 0.1 and decision is based on the final decision value when final decision is greater than zero uh, it's going to be uh, classified as true otherwise it's going to be classified as red let's check it
esteem that's my final classifier let's uh, plot uh, the instances in my train set It's seen all instances are classified correctly. This uh, clearly shows how Adobus works. Uh, this map will guide you how to classify your instances. Uh, an instance having red, red background will be classified as false, uh, otherwise true. So, in this video, we have mentioned Adobus classifier and how it works and how we can apply it uh, easily basically uh, we classifiers uh, come together and create this strong classifier at a boost classifier you might uh, think this as uh, poor employees can move heavy racks but individual uh, employee cannot move this is very similar to uh, principle of Adobe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.